So hello everyone, this is Akshay here and today we're going to cover a very standard question of a BSD playlist that is the in order success in BSD. So before starting ahead, if you're new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the regular updates. Okay, so let us read the question, what is actually an in order success? So given a BSD and a reference node X in the BSD, okay, so the reference of the, this node X is actually this node is present in the BSD itself. So find the in order success of the given node. Let us see the input and output. So K is mentioned as two. So this is the reference of this node is given. So in one, two and three, in order traversal of this particular tree would be one, two, three, and hence the in order successor of two is three. Okay, so we just need to return the next node of our given node, and that is it, right? Great. Similarly, for the second example, if you see for k equals to eight, what would be the next node of our in order traversal? Four, eight, ten. So ten is our answer. Great. Okay, so what would be our first approach to solve this question? Definitely, in the diagram, what they have showed us, we can make a, a store in order traversal. We can store the in order in and let's say an array list right and then we can iterate in this array list we can uh, itr in this array list and once we find this particular x node and for this particular index what we will say we will return the i plus one -th index that's it that is it i guess for this in order traversal of this tree what it would be 4 8 10 12 14 20 30 and 35 so your guess cannot traversal also is it is also based on the fact that the in order traversal of a BST would always be as in sorted form. As you can see, it is sorted. So let us move ahead and code the first approach. Meanwhile, you also try to code it and then resume the video again. Okay, so that's the first approach. Let me give you a quick code walkthrough. So we have a function, let's say, uh, in the name as in. Basically, we are doing an in order traversal and instead of printing the data, we are actually adding that particular node in an array list and that is why we have passed this array list as a function parameter in this helper function for in order as well and yes in the main function we will just call the function now the array list will have all the elements present in the in order traversal that is in the sorted format we will iterate in the array list searching for that particular index where the x node is present and then we just have to check if that i plus with index should be also in inbound right because if that particular node is let's say not present the array list how you will return it you will get an index out of bound exception error so just check for the next index if it is inbound then it just return al dot get of i plus one else if that's not the case that you cannot find the in order to success travel for this code then you just have to return null and the internal code will take uh, will handle it itself returning null it will just return minus one it's written in the inbuilt code that's it Okay, so meanwhile it is submitting. Okay, it has successfully submitted. What would the space and time complexity for this in order traversal? Definitely O of n and O of height of the tree as a space complexity. And here um, we are nothing using a for loop, so that's it. So the time complexity would be O of n that is visiting each and every node. And then we are also using the array list to store the so the time complexity using an in order is O of log n plus this O of n storing all the nodes in array. So definitely O of n again, right? So for this approach, for this approach, we have the time complexity as time complexity as O of n and space complexity as O of n again, right? Great. Let us see the same code in the C plus and then we will move ahead with the second approach. Okay, so that's the C plus code. I don't think a walkthrough is needed. Let us wait for the submission to happen and then we'll move with the second approach. Great. Now in the second approach, what were we what were we doing in the first approach that we were actually storing the elements? But since we are using a BST, right? So BST has the property of let's say this is A, B, and C. Then the B should be greater than A. That that is the left children should be greater than the root children and the right children. Sorry, left children should be less than the parent and the right children should be greater than the parent, right? So can we use this property to solve this question, right? Definitely we can use it. So let us let us uh, find the in order successor for this twelve here. Correct great and yes so what what will happen so my root data my root data is what uh, now it is so let me write the pseudocode as well so if your root data is what greater than your x data x dot data then definitely you have to move in the left direction in order to get a node which should be lesser than the root data and almost getting equals and getting closer to our target right so here we will call a uh, left so I will say root is nothing but r dot left, correct? Okay, great. ठीक है. In the if एक another if होगा जहाँ पे हम कौन सा चीज़ handle करेंगे less than less than वाला part, right? So twenty is twenty is again greater than root dot root data. So I will again move left, and now I can see that my root data eight, which is lesser than uh, 
uh, lesser than my target so definitely i have to move right right and now i have hit a condition where i have actually reached my root node right so again this particular root node it is equal now correct so it is equal now so definitely i have to move again in the right hand side direction because uh, 14 is my answer here right and i'll be needing a node which is greater than 12 if you see it is the in order traversal of this uh, BST is also in a sorted format. So whenever you are you are you are hitting the target, then definitely you will need a node greater than your target, right? And you will and uh, you will get the greater node greater than your root in the right hand side direction in the right shell. That is why I'm saying again moving to the right. So that means if the R dot data if it is less than equals to X dot data, then in both the cases you need to move R equals to R dot right, right? And that's it. This will be your answer. But where can we stop? what condition should we write to stop it right okay so let us uh, proceed ahead with this iteration as well so stopping condition i think the best would be that if root is not equals to null right so we keep on traversing until unless this condition is satisfied or these two if right so for this 14 what will happen this 14 is again greater than our root data so it will move to left correct Correct. So, but here, as you can see, that's a null, and you cannot move ahead, right? But let's say there was a node here. Let's say thirteen, right? Then this root dot data would definitely have this come to this position. And here, it would be. But you can think here that if here thirteen is not there, right? But here, there is such a number possible that should be greater than this root node because thirteen is the part of the right subtree of this particular. Aid. I hope you are getting the sense. That what is the number of nodes? 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 What is the will have its value less than the root and the right children have its value greater than the root great but ab ek aur case aapke paas main rakhna chahta hu ki let us assume let us assume now that you do not you don't have this thing you do not have this 14 in your tree right then what the traversal should look like and what changes can we do in the code so definitely when we are at 30 we will move to the left 20 and 20 will go to 8 and then 8 will go to 12 but now clearly you can see that for this 12 for this 12 if you follow this condition if root dot data less than equals then what it is saying to move in the right hand direction but in the right hand direction there is not no such node and null is present right so in that case it will hit the while loop condition and it will return from here and 12 will be written as your answer but is it 12 the answer for this code no the answer for this if you do the in order traversal it would be 4 8 10 12 20 30 and 35 right so definitely 20 should be your answer Matlab, it is such a node which is present above this particular node. That is also the case we need to handle. How do we do that? So, our problem is that in some cases, we can get a node which is actually present in the above side of that target node. So, that means that when we are coming down, when we are coming from root node to the downward direction, we need to track the answer. We need to track the answer. Correct? So, that means that whenever we are at, let's say, this 30, we know that in this 12 the answer would be 20 so that means whenever we are moving left then your answer is there right so in this in this in this call where we are actually moving left <coughs> left we are we will make one more variable that is answer will be pointing to root here now it i think it should handle so first of all answer would be nothing but equals to null right let me use a different color now so 30 since we are moving left then the answer will point to 30 then uh yep then at this then we have at then we are at this point 20 and again since 20 is <coughs> greater than at 12 we again make a left call and now answer is updated to this 20 correct now this 8 so 8 is what less than equals to target dot data right so i will move to right so i'll come to 12 correct so this is my 12 is my root and now i will see that this again it is equal so i will move to its null right and as you can see that my answer is actually pointing to 20 and this is my actual answer. So I will just say at the last, at the last, you just return answer and that's it. Right? Okay, so, but let us imagine one more case. Let us imagine one more case that actually the 14 was actually present here. Let us assume that 14 was actually present here. What will happen now? That 12 will move back to the 14 and answer is still pointing to 20, right? So in the 14, it will again say that my root dot data is greater than max dot data, right? So it will move, the next child is null. So it will move leftwards and 
before moving leftwards it will update my answer from 20 to this particular node that is 14 and again at the end of the while loop we have written answer and that is why 14 will return as an answer that is actual a correct answer as well so that's great i hope we are on a good page we have showed you three cases how and why we are doing a traversal in the left and right and why this particular approach is working uh, specifically for a binary search tree because we have a particular condition that the left child value get less than the root child and the right child value has the uh, value greater than the root child so let us pause this video and try to code this approach in your code editor with yourself and then resume again with the video okay and before moving ahead what is the time and space complexity for this particular code so in the method one we have seen the time complexity was o of n and o of n but here in the method two the time complexity would be that we are visiting what to say each and every node or not no so no we are not actually visiting each and every node in a one particular level we are actually visiting either left or either right and we are going in the worst case we will have to go to the entire we have to iterate the entire level of the tree so so it would be height of tree because in each and every tree we are visiting just one node so let's say height of tree into one <laughs> so ignoring the constant again over height of tree right what would be the space complexity so we are not using any recursive stack space nor any other data structure to store the elements so it would be o of one the constant space right okay let us move back to our code editor now so that is the code here i don't think a walkthrough is enough uh, not required because i have showed you enough dry run for the three case three test cases we have already discussed the time complexity as well let us hit the summon button for this particular approach and then we will see the c plus s code so great all the test cases has been passed successfully let us see the c plus s code now so that's the c plus s code let us wait for the submission to happen Great, all the test cases has been passed successfully and we have successfully covered this question of in order success, how to find it in a BST. We have discussed two approaches. And yes, let us meet in the next video of our BST playlist. Till then keep learning, keep growing, bye-bye and take care guys.